Hello, this is Butterfly Ambassador Ministries. I am Minister Jalisa Cogdell, and this ministry represents this. We are beautifully anointed in his image to spread the gospel to all nations. And today's message from Money Motivations is uplifted. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you, O oh God. We thank you, God, for the ability to even know you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for choosing to love us, O oh God. Thank you for your selflessness. Thank you, God, for just the ability to understand that because of you, we are able to experience the totality of sacrificial love. Thank you for just the redemptive power. Thank you, Father God, for just the ability to understand that because of you, we are protected. Because of you, we are loved. Because of you, we are redeemed. Because of you, we are comforted. Because of you, we are uplifted. Because of you, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Because of you, we are here on this earth god without you we would be nothingness so father because of you we can go forward and do all that you have called us to do all that you have equipped us to do all that you are establishing us in this very moment to do god have thine own way we love you we bless you we thank you we serve you we love you we adore you we exalt you you are all that we need oh father have your way, God, in our hearts. Have your way in our minds. Have your way in our lives, oh God. Have your way, Lord, in our marriages, Father. Have your way in our workplaces, oh God. Have your way in our in our ministry, in our children's lives, oh God. Have your way, Lord God, in our relationships, oh God. Have your way in our family, oh Father. God, have your way within our beings, within our bodies, oh God. Have your way in the food that we intake, oh God. May we understand that it is you, oh God, that supplies our every need. So Father, lead us, oh God, Lord, show us even deepenings, even depths, oh God, of you, oh God, experiencing you, Lord, like never before. Lord, I pray that we have even more encounters with you, oh Heavenly King. Lord, I pray for our spiritual eye gates to be opened. I pray for our spiritual eyes to be opened, oh God. I pray that we can understand even more of you in the name of Jesus. As we are excited for this holy week that's upon us, oh Father God, Lord, I pray that we even have more strength, oh God, in this week to doing even more of what you've asked of us to do lord we thank you for all that you've given to us because you knew that we would be able to go forward and complete the work that you have set upon us so lord thank you for all that you out that you've allowed us to do all that you are stewarding us and showing us how to steward even the better lord thank you father we bless you we thank you we praise you god there's none like you on this earth. So we exalt your holy name, O Lord. Have your way. Amen. So we are so excited for this week. We pray that you've had a blessed time at your church on Palm Sunday on yesterday. I pray that as this week unfolds for you, that you're reminded of this thing. Philippians 4, 11-13 not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned, in whatsoever state I am in, therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound, and everywhere in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. God is the uplifter. He enables us to do what we can do. It's only him. It's not by our flesh, not by our hands, but it's by the spirit of the true living God. He enables the breath within our being, within our bodies, to be able to breathe, to be able to talk, to taste, to be able to, to touch, to be able to take a shower, to be able to brush our teeth, to be able to just do day-to-day -day activities. It's all God. To be able to even move my hand and speak at the same time and breathe and the lungs transmit messages from the brain to the different parts of the body, the organs to work all together, orchestrated together, lead so beautifully and intrinsically. It's all God. 
He's so profound, so infinite, so supernaturally just perfect that because of him, we're able to do all these different things in one sitting. So in this day, in this week, in this, in this entire month, reflect on the fact that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Remind yourself of that this week. No matter what's going on in front of your natural eyes, God is in the forefront rooting for you. He is in the forefront allowing his angels to, to guide your day, to, to, to speak life over your day. He's watching over your family. He's watching over your business. He's watching over the ministry. All he wants you to do is to yield to him, to take the time to just say, Lord, I need you. Lord, help me. Lord, what do you want me to do today? Lord, show me what you have for me to do today. Guide me. Let me follow the steps you have for me. He wants to be included into your day today, into your activities, into your workplace, into your home life, into your marriage, into your businesses, into your children's lives. He wants to be included. Without him, the day can be chaotic. It can seem like it's hard, stressful, tough, or whatever it is. But no, with God, you can experience the peace. You can experience the joy of the Lord which is your strength. You can experience just newness, a new perspective, a new way of scheduling out the day, a new way of handling the, the, the laundry, or maybe it's just cooking dinner, or even just driving. I pray that you won't experience any road rage in the name of Jesus. You won't be quick to overthink things or overanalyze things or even process things i pray that this week for you would be such a peace such of ease that you'll know it's god i pray that when you eat the food you would just bless it because god prepared that just for you to intake that you would just honor him by saying, God, thank you for what I do have. Thank you for what you've allowed me to experience in this day because I know it's all from you. Yeah, it's a blessing to thank God for everything that you're encompassing right now. Even just watching this, God, thank you for the eyesight that I have, that I'm able to even watch this video, whether it's by phone or a computer, a tablet, iPad, someone else's computer, someone else's phone, whatever it is, it's okay. Just thank God for it. Because of him, you're able to press the button with your finger. Because of him, you're able to watch this video because of the eyes that he blessed us to have. The occipital lobe that's in the back of our heads, it works. Thank God for that. The ears, the auditorial ability, the senses to be able to have that sensory motor and within our being to hear properly. God, we thank you. We bless you for that. So, Lord, we thank you for all that we have. We thank you for what we're able to do. Lord, we even thank you, God, for just to be able to share with others the goodness of God, the, the goodness of God. We thank you, God, for just the ability to do that. So in this week, bless God, honor him. Remind yourself that because of him, I'm able to do this. Because of him, I'm able to do that. Because of him, I'm able to experience this. Take the time to reflect and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for what I have right now. I thank you for what you are teaching me in this moment. I thank you for the next season. I thank you for tomorrow. I thank you, Father God, for the next minute, the next breath, the next hour, the next second. God, thank you. Because of you, oh God. Because of what you allowed your holy begotten son to endure on the cross, I have the strength to doing all that you've called me to do. Because of you, oh heavenly God, I can do all things through Christ. You give me the power to step into this new perspective, step into this new realm of yes, I can do all things through Christ. You've given me the new mindset to go forward, to allow the Lord to bless and breathe life into the business, into the ministry, into the, the, the marriage, into what you call me to do. Lord, thank you. Because of you, you're breathing life into something that, that seems so difficult. But because God is upon it, it's with ease. So Lord, we bless you. We thank you. Because of you, we can do all things through Christ. God bless you and enjoy a phenomenal week.
because of God. We have this week to enjoy it. God bless you.